Hey guys, so in today's video we're going to be building my 3B turbo manifold. If I can show you, I got the chunk of 2x2 for my turbo manifold and a flange cutout for the 3B. This is a DXF file off uh, I Hate Mud. I actually learned about this because of uh, Music City Cruisers on YouTube. They've already made a video about this being made. Now, they didn't I wanted to specify some more detail because I had to look into it myself. They used two by two by eighth inch wall uh, pipe, square, whatever you want to call it. Half inch thick um, mild steel. And the DXF file that I had to locate was, gosh, there was like three of them that were, had to be reposted because they just, you know, were old DXF file uh, on the internet that just didn't didn't work. So anyways, I sent this off to my water jet cutting guys. This, in my ear, he said it cost him 50 bucks. This ended up costing me like 200, which is mind blowing, but it's still easier and cheaper than trying to get somebody to make it or buy a 13BT one and still have to modify it. So this, this works for me. This works just I'm capping it off with eighth, eighth inch uh, uh, flat bar that I just had sitting around. And of course I have my turbo flange. There we are. T2 turbo flange and my Garrett uh, T25 turbo. But anyways, I'm not gonna keep that around because I don't want to weld around it. So he didn't show any of the uh, fabrication bits of it. So I'll probably put this one in, put this part of the video in the in um, time lapse and just kind of get this all set up and welded in. This might take me a little bit because well, it is 5:20. I've already worked my eight hour shift and well, I kind of want to get home. So anyways, stay tuned for that. So here's the uh, manifold all done up. Uh, well, sorry, cut. Everything's all ported basically. So these will all match up on all of them. I deburred the inside. I actually torched this all out. You'll see that in the uh, sped up video, but nice and clean on the inside. So this is ready to weld on now. But uh, I think I'm going to leave that for tomorrow because, well, it's almost time for me to go home. And then I'll actually cut my other hole in the back side for the turbo flange here in a little bit. But not tonight. So it's pretty late, but uh, this took me four hours to make. Got the whole manifold done, bolt it up, don't mind my welds. I am not a welder and I don't pretend to be. So there they are. And uh, yeah, that's the bad side. Don't look at that. This is a good side. Everything looks good from the front basically as far as I'm concerned. Um, clocking this was very difficult. I wanted to keep my I wanted to try to keep this as horizontal as possible and I end up with it almost vertical and the reason being is I couldn't 
I couldn't rotate this um, or move the exhaust housing any because it has to stay in this position to be, you know, bolted onto the manifold. And anyways, uh, so of course this has to be orientated in the same direction so that it can activate the uh, wastegate. But anyways, the uh, I also needed this housing to be rotated just enough so I can get my, this is my oil drain as vertical as possible so that I could have it run down to the sump down here. So anyways, that's how it ended up. And uh, of course, this is how my intake's ending up facing, which is okay in this application because I am going to be running um, a front mount intercooler. So this is gonna come down. I'm probably gonna have it you know, come to the front of the vehicle over and I mean it's probably going to come pretty far down before it comes forward so this might work in my favor being positioned like that but I won't find out till I get it in the truck um, I will be running my hot coolant line from the turbo to the one pipe threaded uh, plug that was in the head and then my cold side is going over to my heater core, uh, lower hose in my heater core. This is the oil feed, which I have measured on here, and it is a 5 16 inverted thread, and I will be uh, converting that over to AN fitting, so I'll get an adapter for that um, and run AN lines, dash 4 AN lines. The oil feed I'm pulling off of Probably the same location as my oil sender or uh, this location here. There's a few others, but but yeah. Oil drain's also being swapped over to AN fittings. I'll be using dash six or possibly dash eight um, down to the sump. And I'll be getting a, uh, a non-weld in, so the uh, clamp style bung. And I made the mistake, I installed my sump uh, before I drilled my hole for it and uh, and of course bolted that in so I will need to remove my oil pan Replace my gasket again. Well, maybe I can salvage it. I did silicone it all the way around because I do know how notorious um, cork gaskets are for uh, just weeping and leaving residue everywhere so oil anyway, so I'll be pulling that back off, drilling this. I'll show a video of that too when I get it. Uh, everything's on order right now, so I am waiting on parts and uh, waiting on lines. Um, I have a uh, T, T2 or T25 flange coming for this. Uh, that's off Amazon. Uh, as far as I know, there's only manufacturers in China that are making these things. You can get just the bolt, the, the flange, which is, you know, just like the manifold flange I had made. Um, but uh, I'd have to fabricate something to come off of it. And I run want to run uh, a three inch stainless exhaust all the way to the back. That's going to be custom made by uh, the guys over at um, Carmena performance uh, or at least you know they're an automotive shop so I mean I feel like three inches is a little excessive but you know what as if I can get as much flow as I can might also sound a little bit more growly too but I don't know anyways three inches is what I'm going with there we are I don't think there's anything else it's just getting this manifold done which you know I found to be fairly easy I uh, the main thing was is that um, I made sure throughout the whole entire process I had marked the face that's going to be facing out. So I had out on this side of the flange when I was doing everything. I mean, I probably you could probably see that in the video, but and then the face that sits in towards the head I wrote in, and I made sure I knew this because if I accidentally tackled this or started welding this on uh, on the wrong side, this is not reversible. You can't. You can't move it around. It's it it is what it is. It only goes on one way. So I did, however, have a little bit of warpage here. There's a tiny. There's probably about gosh a thirty seconds gap on maybe even less. And uh, I'm hoping that that's going to uh, 
just uh, clamp down onto the gasket all right. I'm sure it will. The, these torque down to uh, around 25 foot-pounds and that should be plenty to clamp this down and hopefully squash my gasket. So anyways, that is it. I am pretty sure uh, this is going to go really quick and hopefully my parts show up and uh, catch you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.